were planting a church in Houston, Houston area. Through the ESL classes, uh, we met a family that they also became Christians and, you know, they came to Christ, to faith in Christ, and we started a small group in, in their house. He was a, you know, very polite person, well-educated, friendly, but everything I said about Jesus Christ, about the message of salvation through faith in Jesus, he always has something to say about that and against that. So at the end of the, the meeting, I came to him and I said, you are welcome here. In fact, I want you to know that I, I want to be your friend. So we started that relationship there. Every week, he was there in the Bible study. He was there every week. But again, every week was rejecting <laughs> the message. At some point, I, I told him, you know, uh, Arturo, why you don't come to church sometimes and visit us, you know, so he can, you can meet more people and, you know, uh, and he said, no, I don't, I'm, I'm fine. I just, I just come here and, you know, have a good time. One day, one Sunday, uh, he show up and he, and he sat down, he sat down in the, uh, back in the, in the last pew of the congregation, of the church. I was preaching about the, uh, Jesus saying, I'm, I'm the light of the world. I was, uh, I was about to finish the sermon when I hear this big noise in the back of the church. And uh, suddenly, I didn't know what happened. And uh, when I see, uh, I saw him, he was laid down on the floor. So I went there, and uh, his family were concerned, you know, were like, what well, was happening? So, but my wife started singing, and the congregation praying and singing. And, and then I hear something, but I couldn't understand what he was saying. And when I kneel down and, and I get close to him, he was crying out from the heart. And I can hear that he was saying, Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, forgive me. So I pray with him. I let him in a prayer. I pray over him. I pray for his family. And I went back to the pulpit and uh, finished the service. When I came back to him, when he stand up, I don't know how to explain this, but even his face, was different. He was just like peaceful, and uh, his wife and his kids, they couldn't believe, I mean, they were just hugging each other, and he was asking forgiveness from, from the wife as well and the kids. I knew right there that the Holy Spirit uh, had transformed his, his heart. He and the whole family, later on, they got baptized, and then they became uh, strong members in the congregation and uh, key leaders in the congregation. He was interested in going to seminary. And uh, he graduated from the seminary and he's now an LCMS ordained pastor serving in St. Matthew Lutheran Church in the Houston area. He's doing the same now, sharing Jesus with the community. Now they have an ESL classes to reach out the Hispanic community around the church. And he's, a, he's doing an amazing job, he and his family. This is a, a powerful testimony of the Holy Spirit seeking and saving the lost uh, and transforming lives for His glory. This is our purpose. This is why we exist in the first place. To proclaim the name of the Lord, to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ.